everybody, welcome back to another edition of Sunday Sense. We're here at the Refuge in Las Vegas, coolest gym in town. <laughs> so on Friday, I had the pleasure of forerunning a couple of problems for pro climber Jonathan Segrist. If you're not familiar who Jonathan Segrist is, he's one of the strongest sport climbers in the country, probably even the world. And we love him here because he takes time out of being a pro climber to set some really, really cool problems for us. Unfortunately, a lot of the time, these problems are very hard. I shouldn't say unfortunately, it's, it's actually very fortunate <laughs> that he's setting these really hard problems. But it got me thinking, like, what is a V4 in the gym? We're all used to flashing V4s if you've been climbing for a while, and if you don't, get a v4 first try does that mean it's not a v4 or does your technique just suck so today i kind of want to compare a gym v4 that we all know and love with a jonathan segris v4 with a moonboard v4 because i hopped on it on friday as well and i found it to be very difficult not sure what we'll get out of this data but i just kind of want to compare and contrast and kind of answer the question of what is a v4 let's check it out All right, we're over here at the Shield at the Refuge, the latest Jonathan Segrist set. And today we don't have our big crew of Marvin and Jack and Ken, because today is Mother's Day, actually. Shout out to all the mothers out there, especially my mother. Te quiero mucho, mami. She watches all of my videos, comments on all of my videos. So don't be writing shit down in the comments, because my mom will thumbs down your comment if it's not a good one. <laughs> but I'm very lucky to have my boy Christian here with me today. What's up, man? How's it going? What's up, dude? So Christian, you've got some setting experience. Actually. A little bit, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, okay. a little bit, about eight years or so. Like, I kind of want to see where we're at with the V4s in the gym. What do you feel is the most important thing of grading in a gym? Consistency. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. I don't, I don't think there's not, there's not a staple for like what a V4 is. It's different for everybody. It's totally subjective. And I think as long as as like a gym, you're, you're at least setting a standard of like, when you come in here, you know what to expect. I think yeah. that's the most important thing in any grading environment. Yeah. I'm going to have to agree. And we here at the refuge have come to know the V4s is not easy. No, no, <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah. Yeah. You got to work for them. Definitely. Yeah. 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 V4 is one of these tricky grids because a beginner can't necessarily do it because it does take some technique. Um, but anyway, let's take a look at the Seagrist one that he set. Let's do on that. Friday. Yeah, absolutely. It's this red thing right here. Crimp fest. And I mean, we're all kind of familiar with these crimps. They're definitely like half crimps. But there aren't that many feet on this problem. No. And it looks like we're going to have to try pretty hard. Yeah. Yeah, this one, this one's uh, gonna be a bit of a nail biter for sure. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So, what do you think if I don't flash it? Does that mean I'm not a V4 climber? Not at all. Okay. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Let yeah. Me, let me give it a solid send go, dude. Sounds good, man. Let's crush this thing. Okay. All right, Christian. So, disclaimer: I kind of tried this one on Friday with Jonathan because he asked me to forerun it. And to be honest, I thought it was harder than V4. But I also told him that by putting it as a red tag, more people would try it. You know what I totally. mean? Totally. Yeah. So let me just yeah, show you. Yeah, sometimes the grade scares people off. So. Yeah, exactly. Let me show you how kind of tricky this is. Because this left side pull isn't good. And I'm going to like a little slopey hold off of a pretty high foot. Ah. Oh, dude, I didn't weigh my foot. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, these secret problems are hard, man. Did you try this one, Christian? I, I, uh, I just did as soon as, uh, as soon as we got in here, and yeah. uh, I definitely was not warm for it at all. So, what, this, what made it hard for you? Um, the fact that honestly, like the crimps look so much better from the ground than than they actually are. Um, yeah. Even that slope that you're going for off of that first move, like. That, that starting hand's pretty in cut, but you're a little off balance. You're crossing over into uh, kind of a sloper that just, you have to hit that divot kind of perfectly. Um, you really have to be able to bear down on this climb so that you can keep your hips on the wall. Cause if you can't, then you're, you're just coming off. Right. Definitely. Yeah, it takes a lot of technique on this one. Yeah, this was a, it's a proud one for <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give it one more go. And if I can't get this one, let's try the other secrets before that he set last week. And then we'll uh, we'll do a regular, quote unquote, regular gym. A, a normal person. <laughs> a normal right. person. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, did you think that was a V4, Betty? Uh, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> no, <laughs> Maybe uh, a moonboard V4. <laughs> yeah, so there are different levels of V4, and I agree, that's probably a moonboard V4. Six and them. A V15 climber V4. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on. There you go. You got that. So. Come on, want it. I don't Come have on. it, dude, I don't have it. Oh no. <laughs> Damn, I'm like full crimping on these little <laughs> holes. Okay, man, let's try the other secrets. Let's before. try it. But uh, I don't know, that raises the question, is this a V4? Oh. <laughs> or is it like a V5, you know? Or does my technique just suck? Mm. <laughs> no comment? Let's, let's try the next one. Let, let us know what you think in the comments. <laughs> does, go, does my go. technique suck? <laughs> or is that not a V4? <laughs> okay, let's try the other one. All right, bro, what's the verdict on the slopey Seagrass V4? Uh, that thing was nails. Uh, <laughs> I was not sure I was gonna send at, like I was pretty sure I was falling off at least three different times and there's seven moves, so. And, and you did not flash it? I did not flash this one, no. Yeah, so does no. that mean you're not a V4? No, That's exactly what that, <laughs> I never claimed to be a V4 climber. <laughs> Dude, tell me the story of how, when you first came to this gym. Oh, so the first time I came to this gym, uh, I had just moved into town. Uh, this was like two and a half years ago, and I went out to Moe's, uh, happened to put down, I'd been projecting a V8 out there, happened to put it down uh, on my like third session. And uh, it was basically temps were shooting up, so I came in here, took a rest day, came in here, and there was one red tag that was in the, uh, the cave. cave area. Yeah. Couldn't do it. <laughs> I literally spent, I was just pure frustration two hours and I could not send that thing. Yeah. Uh, and to be honest with you, it was such a hit to my ego. Like I really <laughs> had to, I left here like so irritated. Like I can't <laughs> believe this, this is ridiculous. How do they call that? And then, you know, after doing some self-assessment realizing like, you know what? It was still a fun climb and, yeah. Um, but yeah, so this, this place is the grades are, are proud um, and it's you know it's not a bad thing because the climbing is the best that you get in, yeah. in Vegas for sure as far as the settings concerned and and the uh, the climbs are super good quality it's consistent yeah I mean if you at your home gym are lucky enough to have a pro climber that sets like Jonathan and they're setting hard climbs I think it's all for the better because yeah. it does make us stronger climbers but there's a new set right here Christian on the vert wall with like four new V4s. Okay. Let's see how those compare to these Pro Climber Secrets let's, V4s. Let's do it, let's yeah, do it. I'm excited. Yeah. All right, Kristen, we got a couple of new technical climbs up here on the uh, vert wall. My favorite. Yeah, technical's awesome, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna set up a split screen and I'll put you on the left, me on the right, and we'll see how we tackle this one. Sounds good, man. Let's, let's do it. This done. Thoughts on this climb, Christian? Um, it was, uh, it was, it felt much more like a, a typical red tag. I think the difficulty in that one, and, and I, a height definitely helped on some of the moves I felt. Right. If we were like, you know, 10 inches shorter, I think a few of those moves that we were pulling might have been a little more yeah. difficult, but Agreed. Um, a lot of it was just kind of hitting bad holds and trusting that you're gonna stick to them. The feet were pretty decent. Yeah, yeah, that was a very technique driven problem, I think. It was yeah. very important to stay, keep your line, center of gravity underneath yeah. these volumes and stuff. But uh, very, very solid before. Very solid, yeah. Enjoy yeah. Enjoyable, chill, like good. That's perfect for a nice body tension kind of warm up. Yeah, okay. So let's do one more regular V4, just right. so we have two um, samples. Totally. And uh, yep. then we'll hop on the moon board and see okay. what, what's that all, let's what's, do it. what that's all about. <laughs> All right, Christian, green hold, red tag. Yeah, so that's one where it seems like we, we might disagree on, because <laughs> yeah. I definitely found this one to be um, harder than the other um, yellow holds, red tag, or excuse me, red holds, red tag that yeah. we just did. And, but still uh, a V4, you think? 
Still E4, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think I think it's still still in that range. Uh, obviously, you and I have very different beta. I yeah. did some probably not intended <laughs> stuff, but um, yeah, still had to still had to pay attention and yeah and uh, and focus to get the sand clean. Yeah, I saw you trying really hard on that match on the volume. Yeah. Whereas I just left hand pressed and kind of right. And I'm sure I'm positive that's the beta. Yeah. I just did not want to do any <laughs> shoulder presses. Yeah. Okay, so we got a good idea of what Jim V4s are. Absolutely. And we got a good idea of what Jonathan V4s are. Yep. AKA hard as balls. <laughs> <laughs> but why don't we jump on the moon board? On Friday, I had a really good moon board session with okay. a friend of mine because I hadn't jumped on the moon board in about six months. It's been ages for me too, yeah. Yeah, so he set a problem for me and called it a V4, but in uh -huh. my opinion, it was harder than yeah. a V4. So let's go have that discussion real quick and see let's do that. what moon board V4s are all about. Let's see what the strong people do. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Christian, so I'm not a moonboarder. Are you a moonboarder? Uh, I've once pretended to be a moonboarder. <laughs> I dressed as a moonboarder for Halloween once. It's, it's, it's about it's as far as it so, goes. Yeah. It's crazy. So I think the general consensus on the moonboard is that it is harder than regular grades. Yes, it's its own grading ecosystem and it yeah. tends to be uh, a little stronger than what you would find in most gyms or outdoor okay. drags for sure, yeah. So we kind of know that the V4s on here are going to be harder than regular V4s. Yeah. But let's just see how much harder than the regular V4s Sounds are. like a good maybe, plan. Maybe there's Jonathan Segrist type V4s. Ooh. Yeah? We should, we should see if we can find some Segrist points after this. <laughs> yeah. So let me see, uh, sort it by Benchies. So let's find a V4 that has a lot of repeats okay. and we'll give it a burn, yeah? Yeah, 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 100%. Let's do this. Sick. All right, dude, what did we come up with? Uh, I found this climb called Real Beginners. So oh, sick. I, uh, I feel like that's going to be uh, perfectly suited. Dude, that's me us. The moon me yeah. too. <laughs> let's do this. All right, so if you're a newer gym climber and you're unfamiliar with the moon board, it's a system board that has consistent holds throughout the world. So if I'm trying this problem, my buddy in Hong Kong could try it. And the blue are hands, green are the starts where you see Christian, and red is where you match finish. But yeah, it's a 40 degree angle board, and you just have to keep a lot of tension as you climb this thing. Nice, Christian, come on. Yeah, dude. Come on, breathe. Man, what are you, a beginner? A real beginner. <laughs> Man, tell me about wow. this one. Uh, apparently I am too much of a beginner for the real beginner <laughs> one. Okay. Yeah, I botched, I'm sure I botched the beta and I definitely botched the send, so. Yeah, can I give it a burn? I, I hope so. <laughs> Team send, please. If you climb Moonboard V4, you're a god. <laughs> okay, what are we doing here? Man. Yeah, I hear you. Come on. Ah! Come on. Try hard. <sighs> oh no. My left foot got caught on another hole. Oh no. But that's such a far reach, dude. Yeah. It's, oh. it's real far. You had your right foot up, but that's where I should have had my foot too for my move. I just tried yeah. to jump and like, I did not have the gas. Yeah, you really have to get yeah. to that thing. Holy moly. I know. <laughs> so I'm gonna say right off the bat that that's harder than the Jonathan V4. Yes, this is, this is like probably a, at least a grade and a half to two grades harder. Okay. Why don't we try one other benchy just so we see what Have it's like? Have a little like. bounce, yeah. All right, bro, so we settled upon a problem called Volvo 480 V4. We're gonna get this thing done. We have to, dude. Have to. Otherwise, are we really even V4 climbers? That's what I'm okay. saying. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, the moon board is known for these like bad holds down low where you pick if you don't have enough tension. Looking good, Christian. But yeah, I definitely want to get on the moon board more just so I start developing that in my moveset, holding all this tension, 
Getting my fingers really strong. Okay, dude. Verdict? <sighs> There's a chance I'm a V4 climber. That was solid, oh. man. Good flash, dude. Thank you. Okay, let's see if I could do the same, man. You're inspiring me. You got this. Nice. Come on. Oh, yeah, you got that. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Nice. Yeah, dude, I noticed with Moonboard, you really have to like use your feet, feet and your yeah. flexibility a lot Which more. Which is crazy, because you have to cut a lot of times I too, know. man. Yeah, it really. Okay, but that makes me happy. We, we were able to do a Moonboard V4. Right. A Jonathan Seegers V4 and the Gym V4s, which we're accustomed to doing. Right. Um, can I ask you to do one more thing on the moonboard for me? No, but I'm gonna do it anyways. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on Friday, my good friend Sam Jones set a problem named after me. Okay. Called Miguel Climbs. I'm not strong enough for Miguel Climbs. <laughs> he called it a V4. Okay. But I wanna see if we both agree that it's V4, maybe V5. We'll okay. see. Yeah. Because I, I found it very difficult. Let's give it a burn. Let's do it. All right, dude. So my friend Sam set this and I, Obviously did not flash it. Took me like five or six tries. Okay. Hardest move for me being going to this guy. Okay. From from this like undercling. Okay. I'm pinching it that way, going to that. Right. It's just hard because like my feet always fly out. Got it. And I have to bring him back on immediately. Okay. This move's good. And then going to that is my second crux. Yeah. It's a very hard hold to hold. Right. You have are to you, hit it just right. Are you hitting Gaston? Or are you kind of no, like I'm knee down, down, it down almost? pulling it on okay. the triangle almost. Oh, wow. So yeah. you're almost like spocking it? I mean, I guess I am Gastoning it. Okay. Yeah. All right, Christian, no send on the Miguel Climbs before <laughs> Moonboard problem. No. <laughs> Found it, dude. You did oh. good today. <laughs> wow. But uh, yeah, what did you think of this whole V4 discussion? Uh, I think it's a discussion that happens a lot. And personally, it's one that I love. Uh, I like more conversation about yeah, yeah. these types of things. So um, yeah, spot on. I think Moonboard V4 is like top of the top. If you're doing that one, you're you're crushing. Yep. Seeger's V4s are definitely next in line. And yep. Refuge V4s are are uh, <laughs> our V4s, right? And, and, any, and anywhere else doesn't doesn't even come close. So. Yeah, yeah. No, I thought it was good because uh, yeah, like when I was helping Seagrass four run, I didn't know if that was a V5 yeah. or a V6. But I think it's good that we set it as a V4. And yeah, I don't know. It's a whole discussion. Obviously, what we're talking about has lots of different opinions and whatever. Right. But we just wanted to share our thoughts and. I thank you guys for joining us. So Christian, thanks for climbing with me. Thank you, man. And if you're out there, send Miguel climbs for me and let me know if that's a V4. <laughs> yeah, let's get yeah. The, let's get the, let's, let's get the upgrade. real grade. Yeah. <laughs> yes, come on, dude. Huge shot. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on. 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 Come I think you hesitated four full times. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 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 <laughs>